I did a video like this the other day. It was called Mirage for Noobs. So let's go and do Inferno for Noobs. From smokes and utility usage to a couple of tips, tricks, positionings and stuff like that on the CT side as well as a couple of habits on the T side when it comes to peaking. That's what this video is going to be about. No fancy pantsy editing, just spot on running around the map. Trying to explain to you the basics that you should know when playing Inferno. Go check out Cisco Empire and claim your free case with code TWEEDAY. Log in, click on free case at the top, type in TWEEDAY and you might get yourself free of Dragon Lore. Link is in the description. 18 plus, terms and conditions apply. Please gamble responsibly. Yeah, let's start off with the utility usage, smokes and flashes and stuff like that that you should know. Uh, let's go with the CT side really quick here. Uh, B banana, you definitely should know this flash. It's called the fallen flash. You just crouch here and then you just throw basically. Or yeah, antenna a little bit below there. You just throw it roughly like that. That flash is very good for a banana pick. If people from banana are running down here. Oh, they're blind. I love that. And they're blind again. You know? So if somebody of the CT team has a really good spawn, like around around here with the AWP, and he's just going to run here for a peak, like this, basically, or even just like this, that flash is a very good support flash. Should know that flash. CT side retake smokes is what you need to know. I kind of screwed up. Go into this corner, then you aim on the top of this. Yep, right around here. Jump, throw, left click. Good banana smoke. Same goes for A, if you want to retake A. Here's a couple of variations. You tuck yourself into the corner. Something, something, something around here. You aim. Jump, throw, left click. Bounces off. Here, the roof. Nice little retake smoke. Variation of that retake smoke. You go here into this wooden door in the middle. Then you take the cross on the left side here, roughly. It doesn't have to be fantastic, just a left click. You can do the Molotov here as well. Left click throw, and you can just, yeah, freestyle flash somewhere, somewhere. That way you're covered from pit when you're trying to enter the bomb site. He can only be in the two corners, so not in the middle peeking you. Pretty damn solid nade combination for a retake. Those, I think, is what you need to know on the CT side as a retake. Other than that, the smokes of the CT usually just go into middle or to delay some things or short or whatever the people of the enemy team, the opposition, is actually trying to go against. Yeah, that's basically about it. Then the flashes on the T side. You want to know this flash. It is a supportive flash. You basically, you just walk up here. You aim a little bit above the window frame. Left click jump throw. That's a nice little supportive flash for a banana take. So if anybody's here, he's blind. If anybody's in the back, he's blind. You really don't see it because of the tree lineup and stuff like that. You see it for a split second, not even that. Turning around from it is rather hard. Cool. Another little flash for to take top banana. Go into this corner. You just aim on this, like here in the middle of that gray area thing. You just flash it. And it's a perfect little pop flash to take the top banana. You gotta tell your teammate to turn around though, because that is gonna flash him. So he needs to turn around and with the pop of the flash, he needs to peek. Most of the flashes on the T side are freestyle. So for instance, this one I like to do, you just throw around here. If you want to, if the top banana guy wants to peek top sandbags or something like that. Like, you know, if somebody's aiming around here, because of all these trees, these flashes, like they are not. Like, you can't really anticipate them. So these type of flashes are pretty damn good. Same goes for the top mid flash. You can do it from here. You just flash around the... Uh, like, just the freestyle flashing. So you just need to know roughly where the flash is going to pop. Um, besides that, there's another little flash that you can do in a palace to support the people running out here. You basically you just go here. You crouch. Bounces. Flashes. It's just a perfect pop flash if you see the trajectory. Flashes people from the site, pit, whatever, who are looking into it. And if you are on short and you want to send out your apps player, just do this little supportive flash. It doesn't really have to be 100% perfect as well. 
but it's just flushing nearly every one pit, sort of a nice little pop flush. Also, if you want to flush towards the bomb site, this is a nice, like, take this door, you just run here, like, whatever, and you can just bounce it off. It doesn't have to be 100% pixel perfect, you can also, like, just while running, you can jump throw it. But this door is the perfect angle for the flash to bounce and then go towards the bomb site. See, it was freestyle three times in a row, but three times in a row, if there's a guy on site somewhere holding, he's blind. Those flashes, I deem essential. Yeah, let's go for the let's go for the basic smokes that you should know as well. So obviously, banana smokes, CT like the CT smokes. There is a million of different variation for the smokes on B. I'm throwing them basically like this. This is the coil smoke. You aim at this little, I don't know how that's called. And this is the second point. So you just go up, and this one, you know, until like you have here. You aim your crosshair here. You go up until you sort of hit the line on the top of there. Just a simple left click. And then the CT smoke the same. You aim at this construction thing. And then you just go up until your cross is in between the two black lines on the top. And left click as well. Coil smoke. CT smoke. 10-10. Those you should know. If you're playing Inferno and you don't know a coils or a CT smoke, you need to know them. Uh, then another smoke for long. Very, very essential. In pucks especially. Here. You just go at the edge of that thing. You aim on the top at this antenna. Left click throw. Easy. And the short smoke. You have this little blue area -ish on the, the left one. Not the right one. The left one. Go here. Doesn't have to be pixel perfect as well. And then you aim this. Imagine this being your point. Just in the middle of this roughly. You smoke it. Arch smoke. Short smoke. Good. And then you also, for a retake, if you're coming from banana or if you want to take A, tuck yourself into this edge here. And then you aim at the left of this flower pot. Oh, yeah. And obviously you should throw it. Just a left click throw as well. And that one is going to smoke off. 10-10. Those are the smokes that... You should 100% know, or the utility that you should be using more often than not on Inferno. Now let's go for a T site, and I'm gonna show you a couple of peaks slash a couple of things that I like to do in Inferno. Let's just imagine we have a top spawn as a T. Then what you can do on Inferno, you really don't usually go into apps and peek something there with the orb. But what you can do is you can go top banana tree, peek this position when you have a top spawn. Or even then, you can just go on the top here and peek that. You know, just however confident you feel like. But I do this tree peek more often than not. Or this wooden pile peek then. And then you can just, you know, keep going. It's a good chance you catch someone off guard. Now, holding from the T-stairs, you can do this. People, people will not be seeing you. And then you can just pop up and kill them. Like here in this, you know, you see when you go back, you go a little bit up. When you go a little bit on the stairs, you go up. So in between those two, if you're crouched, you're not visible. And then you can go up. There's a good little peekaboo moment that you can do. Other than that, holding middle, I like to do it this way. That I'm on the stairs and I'm not peeking into it directly. I'm peeking this angle. So in case anyone comes from the left to the right, I can kill him. And then eventually I move over to the right. So I'm not having this open angle. Where the guy who's having a favorable peak top middle is able to kill you there. But I'm going to do it like this. Wait for the guy to come early if he wants to. And then peek around the corner. Also, don't forget to flash middle. Flashbang. Flashbang. Flash early middle. Just flash it so the opa that is holding this angle. Somebody's walking down or something is blind as well. Don't forget that. I forgot that in the first part. Anyway, what I also like to do is I like to jump around this corner or walk around this corner then here and then prepare for the peak to kill the top middle player can do with a rifle can do with an op whatever don't do it like just don't run out like a crazy motherfucker don't like jump in here because you know you need the time to rest when you jump down just jump here your recall reset and then peak cool 
if you're going onto the bridge and you're peeking obviously the angle for an early aggression maybe you can always just spam this corner if you spam this then whoever is going to push aggro and apps or something might just get tagged or he's not really going to push through means that the apps player can take the control without having to worry someone going super super close and if the guy is going super super close he's either already dead maybe by getting a lucky wall bang from you or he's that low that it obviously favors your teammate that is going to take the fight ct side i've shown you the t side habits that i like to do as well as the utility that you should use on both sides now let's go into the ct side of what we can what we should play uh for that i'm gonna go from left to right on the radar from this point of view which means the apps slash the a anchor or the pit player the short player the long player and two people on b which is a default setup on the ct side okay let's start off with the pit player the pit player has if he's got a really good spawn like that through library he could potentially could potentially doesn't have to I'm not necessarily a fan of that. Most of the people or most of the rounds that we lose on A is because people die early in apps. But he could potentially take a really aggressive peek here. Get a cheeky kill and then fall back. This is what you could do. Other than that, you can obviously jiggle peek this angle. You can even wall bang this corner. You can wall bang that. In case you didn't know, you can. can could net you a couple of good damage or even a kill you can tuck yourself in here you can do like a couple of supportive flashbangs for short something like that in case they come up middle and the short player is asking for a flash that is pretty good other than that you keep your utility you make sure you don't die you are the last one to rotate the apps or the pit player is the anchor this is a nice little angle that you can play in case short is uh, under control that's an angle that I really hate to play against. You can also play in the corner here in case somebody drops out. Play this angle, this angle. Just, you know, just be a pain in the ass. You can smoke around here, go into the moto, peek above it, into apps in case, you know, you usually get Molotov out like that. So you extinguish the Molotov without anything else and you're still gonna be a threat. So you can play around the smoke. All you have to do is, in case you're like uh, the solo player on A still left here, is stay alive for the rotations to come in. Which means you don't wide swing that. Usually you can hold this angle here and play a crossfire with the side guy. But no, nope. most of the people like go ahead and peek this and then die. Don't. Just play the crossfire. This is a cheeky angle that you can play. You can, you can choose so many different angles. Just switch it up once in a while and stay alive. That is the pit player's job. What I recommend for the short player, right, is to hold boiler. That is the peak. Get a kill or not get a kill. Fall back. Play this angle. You can fall back. Take this angle. That is a cheeky angle that you can play. The pre plays that a lot. You're basically not exposed here. People who are running across are usually, if a T player is going to come from short, his way of his way of playing is, you know, this. So if you see it, if you come around a corner here, you're tucked behind this pillar, and then you fight already either the pit guy or the apps guy, whoever's still alive there. And that usually nets your cheeky kill, that angle. You're behind the pillar, you're not visible, but like as soon as they cross, you're like bam bam bam, haha, <laughs> easy kill. Nice. B players. Talk with each other. Who's going to take banana or like how are you going to take banana? I would always try to take banana. Having the control banana allows somebody to play it solo. Like go up close if you smoked it like that. Play it from tree. Play behind the smoke. All this kind of jazz. So take banana guys. The worst thing that can happen on the CT side is if you have two people playing on B really defensive. And the other three people on A playing really defensive. That gives the enemy so much control that they can run the easiest fakes in the world or the easiest executes in the world with a couple of smokes and then you're doomed. So try to take the control. Talk with each other. Who's going to throw the deep Molotov? It doesn't have to be pixel perfect. Who's going to throw the close Molotov? Then one guy like roughly throws like this a smoke. And if you want to like be a real pain in the ass, if the enemy has a good spawn, 
double nade tree. And as soon as you double nade a tree, then you can go ahead and just, I don't know, right click, flash this, flash it on the corner, and then take the control. And as soon as you have the control, tuck one here or into the tree position. And the second player can stay for a little bit if he wants to. Or it can straight up rotate over to A so you have four players on A. So that's completely up to you. Does the enemy take banana really, really heavily? Do they not? Do they take it late? This is everything that is coming from the game's flow. Then B players, you, what the setup usually is that somebody has to be in the bomb site. Somebody is always in the bomb site. That is how I would play B. Always have one guy in the bomb site. That is the B setup. Not someone on coils that then gets smoked off, and one guy on CT that then gets smoked off as well. Nope. Have one guy in the bomb site. There needs to be a threat. I personally dislike the first orange position because you're earlier visible than the enemy. If you're in the first oranges, you usually get uh, banged out hard. Just somebody in the back of the bomb site around this, like dark pillar you know, on this line that you have here that can stay alive, ask for a flash from, from the A rotator. If you're an A rotator, just flash in front here. doesn't have to be very good. Like, just flash in front so the people from B side can peek. What I usually like to play, you have one guy tucked on the bomb site, then one guy holds the CT angle. Don't peek in. Might just get you an opening from the T side. Peek that. Let's imagine the enemy team smokes CT. CT smoke is lying. So you can just go here, smoke, right click out a little bit. And then you can walk into a pool behind the smoke. Don't make any noise. They might be aware that you're sneaking behind it, but yeah, just sneak through it. That way you can help your side teammate directly. Or if you're getting smoked off, you just use your utility Molotov here and then rotate back. Oops, there's a second coil smoke. Just flash in front here and then you can go out as well. Or you just wait behind the smoke here, a Molotov the bomb site, something, something, something. You need to help your guy that is on the bomb site. You're not the star. If you're if you're in a CT position like that, you're not the one that is supposed to get the kills. Just help your teammate on the bomb site. Teammate on the bomb site can like flash out here, take a jiggle peek, whatever, or like take a peek here, take a peek on the top, just wait here for somebody to jump on the top, then swing. It's all up to you. Site guy in the bomb site, stay alive, wait for the help and then peek off of the help. If you can't get help, well, then, you know. But at the end of the day, if you're on the bomb side, you don't need to swing out and try to get like, bam, 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 five kills. Or on the right side, -da 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 -da. that's not the thing that you should do. You should just play it composed and try to get one or two kills, fall back, stay alive as long as possible, and be a pain in the ass. So here, you have one guy anchoring B, one guy anchoring A. Stay alive, get a kill or two, play off of the utility from your teammates and stuff like that. I am the long player now and opping on the CT side. It's nice to meet you. Let's have a chat. The rule of thumb on the CT side is do not smoke middle too early. What is it going to help if the smoke is going to lie there from the first 10 seconds on? Well, it's going to be 15 seconds, the smoke is gone and the enemy still has like a minute and 30 left to do everything they want or a minute or 40. So save your smoke. Throw it at the very earliest, unless they pressure middle heavy, which people usually don't do in pucks. But if they pressure middle heavy, then throw it early or like as early as you want. But usually keep it. Keep it to like 1 minute 30, 1 minute 20, and then throw the first smoke. Also, please call that you smoke middle. There's a lot of the times that short player just randomly smokes middle too, and you randomly smoke middle, and then you don't have utility left. So smoke it around 130, 120 is what I would say. Don't throw your smoke to cross short or whatever the hell. Just go towards the bomb site and go then short. You don't like... That smoke is just a waste within the first 15, 10 seconds. What you can do, a couple of cheeky things for an AWPer, is one, if there is a guy here, he can run boost you. You can check that out. I did that a lot in the videos already. It's just like a simple jump and you can peek, you can peek down there. Usually I would advise against peeking this angle. Like, this angle is so unfavorable to anyone. If you come from long towards mid and peak it, this is so unfavorable. I would never do it as a CT side AWPer. Here's an angle that you can play if you play super passive. I like to call it the Kenny S angle. Actually, surprisingly, 
you get a lot of kills like that just because people sidestep middle instead of like swinging it so you can get an easy kill like that basically what i like to do is i go here then i'm holding mexi so somebody imagine a t running down here doing the same thing that i showed on the t side and then you just pre-aim that kill what you can do as well is pre-aim this one don't sit down makes your model a little bit more fat you know and then you're earlier visible just hold this angle somebody run in also quick little tip don't hold too tight of an angle so you have to flick over there you can hold a wide angle people are gonna swing you if they if they do it like that if they don't swing you you have time to get back you know this angle if somebody runs on the top like this flick is rather easy to hit like the small adjustment but like this one is such a crucial kill that i do more often than not then also if you have a really good top spawn you might be able to just get flashed in the second mid and then get the peak here going don't overextend you will just be trapped in this area most of the time you what you could also do is you could go short and then peak the bench position don't peek around bad just peek the bench position if somebody's coming up middle you can get a cheap kill here too what you could also do is tuck yourself into this corner then around that area here can smoke it and then you can get the teammate that is going to stand here and then you can go on the top and go a little bit more to the right and that should roughly look uh look like this as a peak like this as a peak this is a pretty solid boost scenario that you can pull off CT side opping if you have a top spawn, which is roughly around this area, you can always run towards B and then go for an early peak, maybe here if you have the good timing and the movement, or you just swing with a flash from behind with a fallen flash that we showed earlier. So just ask for a fallen flash, which is roughly this. And then you can peak with that flash. Yep, good. You can also hold this angle far back. You can also just hold the jump or you just go around here and just hold this angle in case somebody comes. So that's just angle holding over angle holding over angle holding. It's, yeah, just be, if you're an opera on the city side, just be a little bit more versatile. In case you peak middle five rounds in a row, like, yes, they will eventually, they will eventually shut you down. If you, if you have a good spawn and you're holding this angle, like you're not going to take this, you're not going to take this maxi angle if you're on this area, or the, like if you're on this side of the map. There's two different scenarios where I take the peaks. Is having a top spawn for banana, I take the banana peak. If I'm having a top or like a solidly good spawn for middle, I take this peak towards maxi. Then if I took that peak and nobody came or I got a kill, I'm going to take this angle for a second mid to jump or peak. If that didn't happen, I'm falling down. I'm holding a middle. If that didn't happen, a can yes angle maybe. And then, yeah, it's just all based off of what is happening. Let's imagine you, they smoke off long. What you can do or what I like to do is I molly middle and then go through it. Like, you know, just sneak through it, basically. You're a little bit open to boiler. Or if middle is smoked, you don't have to hold far back. You can also just hold here. Now imagine middle is smoked a little bit deeper. Let's just smoke middle a little bit deeper here. Then you can also, this is the, a really cheeky angle. You see this angle? You get a pick there too. It's going through here. This is also a little thing. As if you're coming from the T side, this angle is also a thing, by the way. You can spot through here a little bit doesn't really get you much sometimes it gets you a little bit of info or it maybe even a cheeky kill but that's something same thing goes for this angle as well if you're opping whoops yep that's the wrong knock up same thing goes for this angle for boiler if you're sort of sure that you're not exposed to it like if there's nobody close you can also take this angle here same goes for this angle it's also a pain to play against. You know, you just got to pick and choose from what the information is giving you. Long play is also the first one that rotates towards B. So, yeah. 
in case there's something on B happening, you are the one to rotate. Keep in mind that if you are running here, you will be heard from the top banana players. So in case there is no like really insane quick push or whatever the hell, you don't have to run here, just run through CT spawn. So you're not going to be heard top banana. Then offer a flashbang towards the pool area or offer a flashbang over the bomb site. Molotov maybe close left. Take a cheeky kill from the smoke. Go towards coils. Hold this angle maybe if somebody's there. And then just search. You don't have to commit fully through in case you got, you have a guy on the bomb side. by the way. You can also just hold this and tell your guy on the bomb side to not peek at all. Or just peek off of your contact. So you just hold this and then your teammate and the bomb side can strike. That is such an easy synergy to create in case somebody's still on like triple or on dark. Nice little thing that you could do if you have a top spawn. You just smoke off down middle and your second teammate is instantly throwing the smoke. By instantly, I mean instantly. And then boom. The only thing you have to worry about quick is the guy coming into Mexico in case he's, somebody's doing that. And you have got the entire mid control really early if you push down. Against anti-ecos or even, even against the... Uh, gun rounds you can put so much pressure on the t's there like yeah if you're ct and you manage to get into the head early on the t side on inferno that they hold back entirely i would say it's already a gg so don't be afraid to do these kind of things anyway uh i think i showed i think i showed a lot on inferno so yeah thank you for watching uh, let me know what you think and what I missed and see you in the next video Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to leave a like a comment and subscribe with the bell So you will be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you